Hi, so welcome again to our channel. Um, right now, we quickly want to talk about the qualitative analysis, that is the SORT analysis for uh, WAEC 2024 chemistry practical. So I would please encourage you to try as much as possible to follow us with all that we will be doing right now. Now, we have been instructed to provide a particular SORT sample, it is a combination of two SORT samples. So it has been mixed, so we call it sample C. So that is what we are going to make do with right now. So I am actually going to put my sample C, this is my sample C. So I am actually going to take some samples of my sample C into my test tube. Now I am taking some samples of my sample C. I will just take a little of my sample C into my test tube. So I am taking a spatula of my sample C and I am adding it into my test tube. You can see the sample C in the test tube. Okay. Let me just add a little more. Alright. So I have my sample C added into my test tube right now. So let us now see some of the reactions that we can actually carry out on our sample C. Now, first and foremost, I will want to start with uh, what we refer to as uh, let's see dissolution test as well as testing with uh, litmus. So that is what I want to start with. So for me to do that. I will, be able, I will be adding water, so I'm adding the sealed water right now, so this is not the sealed water, so I'm adding the sealed water to my sample, and so let's see what happens when we add the sealed water to our sample. So this is what we are having, if you look closely, we will see that we are having some particles at the base here, so let me try to shake, let's see what happens, if it is going to dissolve. So. I'm shaking vigorously right now. Okay. Right now, I'm having some amount of this substance dissolving because it's not all the particles that I left into the tube that is remaining there. So some amount of it is dissolving and some are still left in this in the tube as residue. So let's see what we can do with all of this. So I now what this is telling me is that I am having uh Okay, let me put this here. Here I have my test. Here I have my observations. And here I have my inference. So I have my test, my observation, and then the inference. So from what I did, first and foremost, I discovered that my sample C, sample C plus water, the value is some amount dissolved with it's precipitates. It's precipitated with white precipitates. So that is it. So it tells me that it is partly soluble. So I have soluble and insoluble substance. Soluble and insoluble salts present. So that is what I have for my first test. So let me see what I want to do with my second test. Sample C now. Sample C in water plus filtration. So if I filter my sample C, now I'm shaking, uh, I, I, I shook it for uh, some period. So let me see if I, you can see. Now, let me test with. Uh, this must be, but let me see the reaction that I might come up with if I test with this must be, but let me see what will happen. So let me just quickly dampen my lip mask. Okay, let's see what will happen to our lip mask. Let's see what happens to our lip mask. 
If you look at it, we are not seeing any reaction on our litmus. There is no reaction on our litmus. But let me just do this first. I'm trying to see there's a reaction on our litmus, but there is no reaction to see. So let me quickly uh, filter this. So for us to filter, we're making use of the filter paper and we are folding. There is a way we make use of the filter paper. So we fold into semicircle like this with perfect edge. And then we fold into a cone. You can see it having a cone shape. So that is how we make use of the filter paper. Then we put aside three parts. You can see we are putting three parts aside with one part on the other end. Then I put this, I insert this into my funnel. After which I will start, okay? I will empty the content of my uh, test tube into it. Let me shake it again. So I'm entering the content into this test tube now. Let's see what we will come out with. Okay, so not wasting too much of our time. Let me just go through what I have here. So sample C plus water. We have done that. Sample C plus water, then we are filtrating. So let's see what we get at the end of it. So okay, I'm already having the results. So, I am having filtrates, clear filtrates now. So, let's test our clear filtrates with litmus. Let's see if there's going to be any reaction on the clear filtrates. So, we are, we are, we are just inserting. Okay? You can see there is no reaction on our red litmus paper. So, let us check our blue litmus paper as well. Paper, there is no reaction in our blue litmus paper as well. So that tells us that this substance here is neutral. So, sample C plus water plus filtration, we have production of filtrates and residue. We have production of filtrates and residue. That is what we are having there. So it is partly soluble. Um, that gave us some precipitates that we are going to work with uh, shortly in our residue. So that is the absorption of filtrates plus litmus. For this one here, I am saying that the soluble, we have presence of soluble and insoluble. Presence of soluble and insoluble salts. That is what we can, we, can, we can deduce from this here now because we are the production of filtrate and residue. And this is our filtrate here. And we have our residue in our filter paper. So we will we'll be working with them very shortly. So here I said that our filtrate plus Red and blue litmus. It did not have any effect on the litmus. That tells us that our material, our filtrate, is neutral. Since it did not change any of the two litmus, it tells us that our filtrate is neutral. So I think that is about the test that we can do on our filtrates. So let us go to test our residue. So testing our residue now, we are starting with uh, using our residue with sodium hydroxide. That is where we are going to pick it up from. So let us see. Let me pick out our residue. 
So I am still making use of my residue. I'm adding my residue. And this time around, I am adding my potassium chromate. So when I add, let's see what it gives us. Wow, look at this. You can see bubbling uh, formation of yellow uh, precipitates. You can see. This is the confirmation of the presence of lead in our residue. You can see yellow precipitates there. You can see it. Formation of yellow precipitates. That tells us that we have lead present in it. Here, I said residue plus So we are having yellow, yellow precipitates formed, yellow precipitates formed, that is what we are having there, and that tells us that we have the presence of lead, lead is what is present in this. So if you look at our substance now, we discover that in our salt sample that we have been given, we are having two salts there. One was able to dissolve, and then we have the other which was unable to dissolve, and that happened to be our lead after carrying out a series of tests on it. So I will please encourage you to try as much as possible because this is how far we can go. So we have the notes on the board, we can see it clearly. So I will encourage us to try as much as possible to go through them again and get yourselves familiarized with them. Perhaps you have any question, don't hesitate to put them across to us in our comment section. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, don't forget to do so. Subscribe to our channel so you'll be easily notified when we put up new content on our channel. Like our content and share them with your friends. Let them also benefit from what you are getting. We wish you success in your exams and bye for now.